Now, let's go ahead and replay the script to ensure that the test steps have recorded correctly. In QTP, click the run button. The run dialog box opens which enables you to specify the location in which you want to save the run session results. There are two options provided, the new run results folder and the temporary folder. The new run results folder displays the default path and the folder in which results are stored. By default results are stored in the test folder and the new subfolder is created with the name rest n. The number n is incremented for each run. You may accept the default settings or specify a folder of your choice. Temporary run results folder option saves the run results in a temporary folder. This option overrides any results previously saved in this folder. It is recommended that while developing your test script, choose the temporary option and once the script is baseline, you can use the new folder option. In our case, we'll use the temporary option and click OK. QTP enters the run mode and will start executing the steps one by one. In QTP window, you can see a yellow marker pointing at the step which is currently being executed. During replay, the script performed exactly the same five steps that we had recorded, which signifies that there were no errors in recording and the test results are also shown.